Hey, hey. How y'all doing out there? My name is Santana, and this is my son. Jamir. And we're here, right, representing the Say It Sis platform. Yes, a guy representing Say It Sis platform, right, uh, to bring you some awesome news about celebrating powerful black women. I mean, wow, I'm super, super excited. He's going to be helping me to bring the education to you as we celebrate Miss Fannie Lou Hamer. Go ahead, Jamir. Absolutely. So if you don't know who Fannie Lou Hamer is, she is an elder who was very prominent during the civil rights movement, and she's very notable in the Mississippi Delta region. And that was probably one of the most uh, racist areas in America at the time. And what uh, Mama Hamer is known for is basically going out there and advocating not just for herself, but her community at large, as well as for black people. And when we talk about strong black people in America, we have to acknowledge and respect her contributions because she was a spiritual, cultural, as well as yeah. political force mm -hmm. known for her involvement with the Mississippi Freedom Delta Party as well. But before that, she was the only person on her plantation who could read. And she wow. used that energy to sort of go out there and advocate for her people in the same realm of going out and register or attempting to register to vote. And she was met with a vicious uh, literacy test, which she failed. But that's when she knew that it was her right to vote. And we see a parallel between uh, the advocacy that uh, Mama Hamer did with the Say It's platform. Because um, something that Fannie Lou Hamer is known for is the quote that she is sick and tired of living in a racist society as this. And when we talk about uh, black people, and this is Black History Month, um, in Say It's Just, we've seen that when uh, the group is sick and tired, um, they sort of seek out Say It's Just in order to sort of heal themselves a bit, as well as feel rejuvenated. So could you like just say a little bit about how Say It's Just Incorporated has sort of turned the sick and tired into the healthy and, uh, you know, like the healthy and absolutely, energetic? Like, yes. how are you going? Come on. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thanks so much, son. So, absolutely. So, how Say It Sis can relate to that, right, that sick and tired piece? Say It Sis is a platform, right, that helps to empower, support, support and embolden women so that they can get after their goals. Um, oftentimes, as women, we'll get through uh, things and sometimes we're suppressed in getting through the things that are important for us. But what better way than a platform, um, which Miss Fannie Lou did, didn't have as much of a platform to support women in capturing their goals, even though, um, and she, uh, through the process of her facing like uh, numerous adversities, and in no way uh, uh, we are facing the same adversities as uh, Miss Fannie Lou. However, her, because she stepped forward, because she did take on uh, that challenge to pave a way for the women on Say It Sis uh, platform, we're able to empower again, embolden, and support each other in a way where we can get after our goals and we can also be super super successful so thank you thank you thank you miss fanny lou hamer for your contributions to the world to america to the say assist platform and definitely to every woman that is around the world right mm -hmm. yes to every woman around the world <laughs> do you have anything else um and something else that uh she's very well known for just to, like add that in is that um, when she was going uh, to a polling station, uh, the they were accosted by a police officer who oh. uh, was doing, whose uh, mission was to make sure that they weren't going to able to be uh, able to vote. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing that really got that whole group from being enshackled by fear right. was that she started singing, and mm. the song then lifted the spirits of everyone else. So I'm just saying, like, could say it's just relate to a moment where everyone has been going through something. And then one member breaks out, not in song, right. but just in more of a spiritual uh, communication. Right, right. And all the spirits have been lifted. Right. So has that happened? Yes, that absolutely. Uh, and thank you, uh, um, um, son. Uh, that absolutely happens on a platform as well, where we'll have women going through so something or some adversity. And we have the uh, say -so chats every Monday where women are supporting each other through those adversities and uplifting each other, just as Ms. Lou, uh, Fannie Lou did in that song, and allowing people to actually persevere and get through key in point to know that women are not alone that they have someone to go through that suffrage piece with and that they are able to depend and have an intimate place where they can feel free and absolutely be themselves absolutely. thank you so much son i appreciate that
<laughs> All right. So this was a snapshot in history that the Say It Sis platform is bringing you to the day, tonight, this evening, right? We bring, bringing you Miss Fannie Lou Hamer. Also, be prepared, right? On the 22nd of February at 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll be bringing a Black History Celebration show. I'm super excited about it. Bring everybody in your family. I have my son here on the platform to show you, right, that women history matters to everybody. So we have to make sure that we continue to support and girls, women, ladies, get out there, get after your goals and learn your history. Yay. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, love, share and comment and subscribe.